Thank you. She won't give me service, Ms. Brown. Every time I go up to her office, she calls the police on me. She does. She does. Another form of harassment by municipal, municipal court. Listen, she uh, has a letter from the Department of Human Resources. Uh, she said that she was seeking employment and they pulled a record and uh, it pulled up a um, charge of harassment and communication. That was back on 4 27 2016. Uh, the Department of Human Resources are stating that they need a court certified copy of the case action summary showing the judgment, conviction, or other outcome of the case. No. Uh, so what, what we're trying to find out is what is the procedure or what needs to be done for her to get He's on the phone, Ms. Brown, the lady at the magistrate office. Ms. Brown, over the past year, has refused me service of warrant. I've been harassed, pulled guns on. I've been threatened as being thrown on the stairs in the city courthouse. And she has not ever taken a police report from me. She always calls the police on me. So I did not go to the police department today because they was going to call the police department on me there at the police department. So I came to the mayor's office in the attorney's office. March. I've been complaining about that decision and no one has contacted me since. I tried to appeal the decision. They wouldn't let me appeal the decision. I couldn't even appeal it. Cecil Fields is the attorney. Cecil Fields told me. The city didn't pay him. The city didn't pay him, so he didn't have to finish the case. That's what Cecil Fields told me. Mm -hmm. I know you feel your mother anger. told me I couldn't appeal it and quit as the attorney. I had to go see Ed Green. She called the cops on me while speaking with Ed Green. Ed Green came to my house and got the DVDs of the alleged offenses that was occurred against me and never called me back. Well, I will definitely give her that information um, unless you want to They still have to provide the documentation to the state, regardless of what. I'm, I'm going to uh, put it on speakerphone. Mm -hmm. Put her, uh, Mrs. Brown, just Mrs. Brown, put on speakerphone so that she can relate to the disposition. I, now, I have to let you know, Miss Brown, that you are going to be recorded, okay? Okay, so I'm putting, placing you on speakerphone. Okay, Miss Brown. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, Miss Alvarado is in the office here with me, and, uh, and, and uh, she wants to know, as I read to you, uh, she's applying for this job, and they stated that when they ran her criminal history, it came back that she had a harassing communication charge as of the date, which would be April 27, 2016. What they are requesting is a court-certified copy of the case action summary showing the judgments, convictions, and sentencing or other outcome of the case. And then you're going to explain to us um, about this case here. Yes. Okay, normally what happens is um, 
we okay. fulfill these. Okay, I just want to make sure, this is, we, we can I ask, can I make sure who this is before it. we go okay. any further? Any citizen. Uh, can we make sure I know yeah, who this, this is before this we go is, any further? This is Miss Brown. Is this the Miss Brown that I had problems with getting warrants with on the same case? This is Ms. Brown, the court clerk, chief magistrate. Okay, the chief magistrate who refused me service every time I came up with the issue yeah. with this case. Is this okay, the same Ms. Brown that called Ed Green? Right, but I'm saying, now, is this the same Ms. Brown that refused me service? Is this the same Ms. Brown? I just want to make sure I know who I'm talking to. Is this the same Ms. Brown that refused me service when I was six months pregnant and a lady threatened to throw me down the stairs and Walter Curtis was a witness and you would not take my complaint? Is this the same as Brown? This is Alisa Brown, the court clerk chief. Yeah. Oh, I believe that's you. So she, she, she just want to explain this matter. He, I, before she get off the phone, goes, I, I don't want her to hang up on you or anything. No, I hope she doesn't because I'm recording this. I want to make sure get, I get who we, she is on the phone because I can't get from, her face. We want to get this from her, Ms. Mm -hmm. Brown. I'm listening. Normally what happens is for each, any citizen that wants a copy of their disposition, they come to the municipal court window, and we actually have them complete a disposition request form. And what we do after that point is we locate the disposition, we certify it, and then we contact that person by phone at the number that they provided, and we let them know that their disposition is available for pickup. Am I going to have problems with you? Because every time I've come to that window, you call the police on me. Every time I come to the window, you call the police. Will I have problems out of you coming to get service today? But, but you got to let her finish. I'm first. asking these yeah. questions because I'm, I'm tired of the cops being called on me. Yeah. I'm tired of her doing it and everybody else. Will I have the police harass me when I come get service at your window? Because I'm at the last wit's end and I'm contacting attorneys. So now I'm trying to make sure that as all my civil rights and all my social justice rights has been violated in this instance, I want to make sure I'm not going to be able to get service when you offer me this service. If you're professional when you I'm come I'm always to professional. I'm professional now. Professional. I'm just assertive, but I'm very if you, professional. If you are irate, Ms. Everard, I'm very professional. I'm just aggressive we, we, in my assertiveness. At this point in time, I can't be unreasonable when you're being harassed, ma'am. We, we just going to have to end this. I mean, I'm trying to get the an understanding from her. I just want to make sure because every time I, when I've been at my best, okay, but she's called the police. She's trying when to I, explain so I can't, where I, this case all I know is located. This is the energy that I have built up. I That's how the citizens cry out but that you, we have you, issues you here. Have I've, been, to give I've her complained an on her. I can't because I've, the complaints, my, all my complaints are on her with the judge. But we all can So will she give we, me service? Will can, she give me service? We can sing together, but we can't all talk together. Okay, I want to know can someone else if, go make that request? Are, can if, I make the request via you? Allow her to speak. No, I'm going to make this request. I can, can I make the speak, request? Both of us can't talk yeah, at I know. the same time. Can I make the can't request via you and you submit it? Because I don't have good luck in her office and she always well, calls the police on me. And what she's trying to tell you is is that even that, when I've had the police that you can't on my make a request at this. That's what she's trying to get to you. To let I'm you telling know you, that. I've never had good service. So why would I continue to go someplace where every time I go and whenever I speak because my little New York accent and offends someone if you, that they call the police on me? If you allow her to finish, she's going to tell you that at this point in time you can't make a request. But she, you got to let her finish to tell you that. No, and there's not going to be any need for you to even go over there. Oh, okay. Well, I'm glad yeah. because I've never get service but over there. Yeah, She's got, part of the lawsuit, too. You, That's you, my issue with the city and the mayor. Allow her and maybe to. the mayor will visit me now because these situations are getting out of hand yeah. where I don't trust his officials and I don't feel that I'm going to get the service. Yeah. So why would I repeatedly put myself through that? When I don't get the service, and I have major complaints against her and her office and her, her actions, yeah. her lack of action, let me say. Okay, Ms. Brown, can you just... Just get to the, you know, I, I understand the procedure. You said to come over there, fill out, mm -hmm. and then you will do what? Yeah, only in, in the event that the case is closed. The yeah. case has to be enclosed. That is in our computer system here. Yeah. And uh, Ms. Alvarado was last here back on March 31st. And at that time, Judge Babbitt ruled over her case or presided over her case. Okay. It was multiple in cases. Ruling, in his ruling, it was multiple he cases. stated that if no additional charges are filed, Within the six month period against both uh, parties, that he would that he would dismiss. Was the it charge. a mutual chase and fast after or the, in the six month period is over? The case will be officially closed in the system. Is that if um, is it a mutual trespass case? And is it a mutual? Point, could you ask her? Is it a mutual point, case? We'll be able to release a disposition. Can you okay. ask us a mutually trespass? And and that case was the ju judge made that ruling when on two cases. She made the ruling on March thirty first. And what March were the two cases they were concerning? March, April, May, June, July, August. So around about September thirty first, y'all should have a disposition. Correct. 
and six around months. September, around that day, we should have a problem for uh, releasing that information. Okay. Let me ask you. Um, now, I want to know this two cases. Uh, I'm talking to Attorney Nunn, man. Was this a mutual, uh, mutual trespass on all both parties? I would actually have to go back and pull okay. that case file. Please do. It. Okay. I want before we uh, hang up. Please confirm it. After the six months is up, and then mm -hmm. she can make a request. Please to the before court, we hang up. And then the court will be able to provide to her. Because the uh, other case was when the man put the, an AK-47 out on me. That she wouldn't take the request on. The court will be able to provide a disposition of the case at that point in time. That's correct. And if she has stayed out of trouble, then it will be dismissed. I ain't no trouble. I ain't no correct. trouble. Correct. See, that's a violation of my rights once again. I understand. Once right. again, it's a mutual trespass order. So before you say stay out of trouble, I need you to clarify well, what she meant on that trespass order. She said she had to dig back and find because it should be close. Because what I was told by Ed Green and the judge and the attorneys present, that they will have the documentation in both records because I told them that it will affect my professional career. Well, what, what, what did you say within six months she has to do? It is a written. It's a whole written um, statement. That if no additional charges are filed, that's okay. not what was written. Okay. That's not what was written on the document I saw. Okay. No additional charges. So that means stay out of trouble. I'm not in trouble. That's I'm not in trouble. Don't get in trouble. I was not in trouble. How can I be in trouble on my property, Jimmy Nine? But I'm what what I'm talking about. What the judge has written. I, I don't have a problem with that. But that's my property. Yeah. So read what's. They did sign a mutual trespass order. Okay. Gotcha. Because the husband pulled out an AK-47 on me about my property line, which I had to come with you and the mayor to help me resolve in 2012. Am I correct? Am I correct, Jimmy Nunn? I, Please check your record so I, you can I verify with her check, so I, she knows when she pulls these warrants on people that she should do probable cause prior to making warrants for arrest. Yeah. Okay. So please, can you verify that with her? Well, so when I went to her, let her know I wasn't harassing her unprofessional. It's a citizen that's fed up with lack of information being across the board because of the city already granted me stay away from these people and this property. Yes, so can you verify that with her? Need anything else from me? Yes, no. I want him to verify this information with you. I won't be able to verify that at this point in time. I appreciate it. Thank you. Uh, you're uh, welcome. And, and okay. we'll have to All wait till September after September 31st. Oh, okay. Thanks. Okay, thank you. All right. All right. Bye -bye. Yeah. Um, Let me give this back to you. So, what, what I'm getting gathered mm -hmm. is that because of all the harassment that I received on my property with Brent Harris and the involvement, Brent Harris is the landlord on this property. I had a warrant on Brent Harris that was supposed to be non, what is it, no, no expiration date. Brett Harris was the main witness in this false accusation against me. So you're telling me, out of all the complaints that I've made with the city over the course of four years, the letters and complaints, me and you've had it out in the Mayor Evans' office, that at this point I'm still dealing with the same people and issues, and it's hindering me from getting a job, feeding my family? Is that what y'all telling me? I can't wait till September 31st. I was supposed to start a job on August 7th. Seven. So you're telling me, based on all the harassment that I've experienced with the city of Selma, attorney now, yeah. that I cannot get service and no one wants to deal with the complaints that I've put up since March 31st and beyond. I understand, since, So I haven't got any answer to any complaint. What I'm telling you now is I've asked to appeal that. I was told I couldn't appeal it. Cecil Fields, the attorney that they gave to me, appointed told me that the city didn't pay him and he didn't have to discuss the case with me any further. So that's not an issue with me. If the city appoints me an attorney, the attorney's supposed to go throughout the endurance of the case. Yeah. Okay, he did not do that. When I asked for the appeal, he hung up on me and told me I was not a slave. He wasn't a slave. And I thought that was very offensive to an African-American woman of the South. So where do I lie? We have found out that what you had requested was for me to come down here and you showed me the letter that you need a copy of the disposition. I've called over there to the court. The court has explained that Judge Babin made a rule. And Judge Babin was assigned because chief, the chief magistrate, Prince Press Chestnut, kept recusing himself of the case for conflict of interest. The presiding judge. Presiding judge. Ben Haygood said that my neighbor, who daughter who lied and said I harassed her, Roy Peterson, was a, a client of his in a theft case in 2010. 
So he had a conflict of interest. So they had me, my due process rights were violated. I waited a whole pregnancy to go to court. And then some. My baby was three months by the time I got to court. From the time I got arrested when I was three months. Mm -hmm. And I went to court when the baby was three months. Yeah. So my due process rights was violated. Every time I went to court, yeah. They rescheduled me. So what I'm saying what, what, is, what, what, once again, yeah. out of all my complaints that have never been answered from the mayor, from Evans, the new administration, but Melton. But you understand that we can't overrule a judge? I'm, not, I'm just asking you a specific okay. question. Out of all the issues that I've had concerning my property and the harassment thereof that I've made to this office, the prior administration, and the current administration, I still can't get service. Well, I don't know whether you have talked to the current administration. I have. Oh, you have talked to the mayor? I have. Okay. They hung up on me. They wouldn't speak to me anymore. Okay. When Mer Dario was offering me a job to handle complaints, because that was my major issue in supporting him, how are you going to solve citizens' complaints? Because that's been the issue, and that's why I could not continue to support the prior administration, who I did support. Yeah. Well, I don't know anything about... I'm just saying this because I'm recording it. So I want to make sure it's clear. I don't know anything about it. All I know is that I requested... You said I didn't speak to the current administration. I'm letting you know I okay, did. Okay, okay, mm -hmm. gotcha. Mm -hmm. But uh, from what I'm understanding from Ms. Brown is that the earliest is September 31st. So the lack of relates... response to my complaint has me once again at a disadvantage, me and my family. Because I can't get any, any service on my request until 31st, and this has been over a two-year process. Because the judge has ruled that the disposition of the case would be dismissed six months thereafter. I never spoke to the judge. The judge never even asked for my testimony. They already had made this up before. I made a complaint to the Prince Chestnut. The issue is due process. Have you to Prince Chestnut? He refuses to respond. He says that Ivy Harrison did not give him the complaints. Ivy Harrison has said she has given him all the complaints. I've emailed the complaints. Prince was my attorney for my first, my second child, child, of court, uh, su child of, uh, support a court attorney. So, yes, I spoke to Prince. I even made a mandate that I didn't think that he should be the representative of the city if he was going to leave the court magistrate in the such shambles that he built from running from cases. You can't run from cases and leave citizens like me in a disadvantage because you're taking away my rights. My due process rights and my right to be to live. Yeah. Well, I don't. I don't think this case right here, from my understanding, what Miss uh, Brown. No, it should have been dismissed based on the evidence. I have a video with the same young lady that claims I harassed her, threatened to whoop my ass, quote unquote, <laughs> quote unquote. The same woman says that the police told her that I could no longer dial nine one one. No one wants to address the issue. But the judge didn't dismiss it. That's why I went and complained again. And that's when Dario Melton became the next complaint to receive then. Yeah. Hello. No. Okay. Okay. But uh, we call the magistrate's office and, and now I'm just explain to you about the disposition of the case. Okay. But, uh... Who was that? That was the mayor's office. That was the mayor's office calling? Yeah. Can, can you ask them, can I speak with the mayor about this part and this request that I would like to speak? Can you call them back since they called you asking about the issue, since that's the real issue? Since he never answered those complaints that I've had guarded up for, since those dates? Help me out, attorney Nunn. Help me out here. They're calling, checking on me, giving the right answer. They were just asking whether or not you were still there. Um, yeah, tell them why I'm still here. Hey, Ali, I got you on speakerphone. She has, she's requesting a meeting with the mayor and told me to call back. I uh, just want to let you know she is recording, but she told me to call back down there. Because I'm not, my issues are not resolved. Ask you to, uh, she wants a meeting with the mayor. And I, I, I now, think it's uh, we, it, we deemed have, necessary we, for ASAP type meeting. We have, I, I, I've read this letter that she has from the Department of Human Resources. Uh -huh. What has happened is that she applied for a job. It appears she applied for a job. And they okay. ran an FBI, ABI check on her criminal history. And they found out that she they found out that she had a charge harassing communications back on um, April of twenty sixteen. And what they are requesting from the court is a court certified copy of the case action summary sheet showing the is conviction. It, she ever got one? 
Well, the uh, we called Miss Brown, and what Miss Brown stated was Litigation, that Miss Brown harassment and trying to disavow my personal rights. Miss Brown stated that the case was tried back in uh, March of this year, and Judge Mayor got and, a new judge because he wanted to oust Prince. Remember? And Judge Babin. We had that meeting, Ollie. And Judge Babin made a ruling on the case gave both parties a mutual trespass and then he also gave them a six month probation uh, okay. a six month probation no it wasn't it was not probation that's not what i was going on a six months for them to for a mutual trespass and that they could not call the police and lie on my property anymore and infringe on my property and he cannot pull the gun out on me yeah. so we got to be thorough on what the issue was because i was not found guilty of Harassing nobody's child. No. My DHR check wouldn't have qualified. It just gave him six months to stay out of trouble. And then oh, after, okay. after the six months, uh, Judge Babin stated that he would dismiss Who the case. Who is Judge Babin? I got a complaint against him. I haven't got a request on that. Uh, and so uh, Ms. Brown said that she cannot give anything out to anyone because the case is uh, actually still open. Uh, oh. And then the disposition will be will come about on September the thirty first. Tell them the inception of the case. The attorney six Nunn. the six months will be up. And Tell them the inception of the case, Attorney Nunn. I, I, I'm just getting the dates from the time the case started. Well, I mean, is this the one that you're saying going back years? Well, or, it started. What, the first case on with here Brent Harris was arrested for, was years ago, four yeah, years this, ago. It was, this is a continuation. It's April the twenty seventh, twenty sixteen. And it took him a year to even be seen in court. And then she was seen in court on March of... 31st. 31st of 2017. They which kept pushing my court date back. Around about a year, but... to apply for Mayor Evans, his, the Mayor Melton's old seat. But both judges had a conflict of interest on here. Judge, uh... Judge, uh, Prince Chestnut and Judge Haygood, so that's why they I have judge... I about Prince on the radio for him to get me a visiting judge. So that's why they have Judge Babin that uh, made a ruling on this case. But however, um, the uh, final ruling is not it would be dismissed if they stay out of trouble for six months. I ain't in trouble. So I'm not in trouble. If, I wasn't in trouble. I was violent from the beginning. I got you. I got yeah. you. Uh, so, so that's that's so what we're because, waiting. So because they came because they came up with Erin her background. That's lady. right. Okay. That's and right. that's been my complaint with your administration, sir. <laughs> They uh, they ran this litigation? background. They, so the uh, Department of Human Resources is looking for something to show that the disposition of the case has but it ain't gonna be ended until after the end of September. That's right. That's right. Now I don't know whether or not Alicia said that she does not give. That's a different. She, she does not give any out anything on open cases. I don't know whether or not there's anything that maybe. Uh, through the mayor's office or through the where well, the judge has recused himself, but to maybe give a statement stating that this case, my like a letter, yeah, like a letter stating a letter. that the case is open. But the judge, in his comments, did state that uh, both parties are mutually. It was about my property. You cannot arrest me about my property. That both parties, we, we're trying to help you out, Ms. I know, Alvarado, I'm trying to make but, sure it's clear on that recording and, what we're and, talking about. and stating that. Uh, upon the expiration of the six months, the case would be dismissed. I don't know whether or not that letter would help her out with DHR or what, or not they would... DHR the state, criminal investigations department. Or they would... I mean, this letter is from the state of Alabama Department of Human Resources, DHR. Uh, or whether or not they would come back and state, no, we need the actual disposition of the case. Uh, so I don't know whether a letter would do any good or not, you know. They asked okay. him for the disposition. Is, is there a phone number, a uh, person that we can contact there on that on the yeah? On the there, letter? there is uh, Miss Erica L. Brown, and there's a telephone number on here. If you don't mind, I'll make a copy hey, of this, and then call can, Ed we Green make, can we make a copy and call her? Yeah, is, is that okay? Yeah, we can make a copy and uh, give her a call. Um, I mean, do you too. do you want to try to make the call now, yeah, or you want? I, I don't mind making the call. Well, if you want to, if you want, want me to put it on conference now, or you want to make it down there, or what? What you want to do? Or you want to uh, make a letter? A witness too. When we make a copy of it, and you call later? Or? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Because I got, I got a three. Okay. I'll just make a copy of this letter, and um, I get, I get you, get it to you, so you can give her a call. 
Yeah, that's not if if there's an exception where the, a letter can be done, I I know that the mayor's office will do much as they can to try to help I you can, out. I've been complaining once again since the inception. Yeah, but uh, I was pregnant, diagnosed with cancer, told that to every person in the department head. Why would I be out there harassing people, children? Yeah. And all I do is work in the community to help children. Yeah. Then Mayor Evans used it as a way to not hire me for a position I applied for on that same day, and I told Evans. Melton this. Yeah. That's why they offered me the job to handle complaints. Mayor Melton. Yes, but because of this case, guess what? They couldn't hire me either. Mayor Melton told me and Ollie was present that we have to wait to judge make a rule. I said, Prince won't make a rule. They said, we're going to wait till he get out and we can make another judge and appoint him because he's about to go to be the representative. I'm being harassed. I'm being railroaded. And every time I come to make a complaint, y'all call the cops on me. Well, I will make a copy of this letter and I'll make sure I get it to you, Ollie. All right, and thank you. Uh, then we can go from there. All Sa right, and, okay. And I, and Sarah. I, I asked Ms. Ivan to give me a copy of the complaint, the, the complaint that you said you, you formally wrote. Uh, when she gets back, I'll, I'll review make that too. Uh, I, I'll email them to the mayor. He should have them himself. Make a copy of that. I, 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 I sent formal requests before they were written formally. Y'all didn't have a formal complaint. Y'all don't have a way to do formal complaints in this city hall, really. You don't. Y'all have a y'all drop it in an ivy box and blame her. But they have never been answered. I have a stack from since 2012 complaints against the city dealing on the same issue. The same issue. I got a video. Ed Green saw the video. I asked him to get the case pardoned because based on the video. I was innocent. They refused to watch the video. Yeah. All right. Well, all yeah. right. Well, Just get, thank you. Abby making well, you copies of everything. Else? No, I think that is no, about... No, I got that. No, you being recorded. Yeah. Okay. All right. Thank you. Okay. Thanks a lot. The original. Original. Going back in here. Your, their paper is a little bit thicker than my paper. And can you see if you can find that document you wrote for me in 2000 and... Uh, oh, Jesus. You got to have the city records, attorney. Yeah, but my and, computer done crashed. Oh, that's... Y'all yeah, got to have backups. Lord. So where the documentation? Got to be copies. Y'all yeah. wrote me a letter. From the city of Selma, you, you write wrote you a letter? it. It had to... Um, Brett was arrested... In for the same type issue about my property, he came and was removing stuff off my property, mm -hmm. lied and told the police he owned it, just like the Petersons did, and um, it had to Going be in 2013. 2013. 2013, we yeah. went to court, he came back, and he, I went to court right before Memorial Day that year. The next day after the Judge Haygood and Ed Green found him guilty for harassment of threatening mine to break my son's legs, they told me I had an indefinite trespass order on Brent. Okay. Brent the people that harassed me on this issue on April 27th were Brent tenants. So Brent was the star witness in all cases. So my question again to Judge Babbitt, mm -hmm. I have a trespass order against this man, and he's their landlord. They, were, right. they, they threatened to throw me in jail for mentioning that I in court. I remember something about a swimming pool. It was a swimming pool, but no. The Is east, that another that's, a, that's the That's that's this people. The people That's here, when I was going through code enforcement about yeah. the pool legislation and should they be fenced in, and Miss Miss Cross had sold me the property. I did my whole full property, what you call it, survey. It something about a property line, and we had determined, I think, that, that it was mine. And he had, they, I was the rightful owner of the property based on the documentation. And he, if he wanted to contest it, based on the city's findings, that he would have to take me to court and do not trespass on my property. We, we didn't do a survey or anything. 
No, I, I provided all the information. I gave y'all. Y'all did the research on the property. Yeah. The property actually belonged to Mark Mason. It wasn't even Brett Harris's property to fight me for. You know what I'm saying? So once again, the police harassing me. When I'm telling the police this is not his property, they still come on, on my property and arrest me for putting the bush down. I remember that. And then I had to come back. Greg Belkey had to come from City Hall and save me from the police department to tell him that this man is crazy and has been harassing this woman. So now this issue is his tenants. These are his tenants. This is his tenants. So really what the law did was say, well, Brent, you can't harass him, but let your tenants harass on the same thing, on the pool issue, that they had to move their pool. That the same police officer that came to my house in a caravan of 10 cars, to threaten me and take me and my, my son to DHR. The same police officer that made him move his pool Sarah. arrested me on. So is there another complaint that I can make on this process, what I would experience today? Take that down to Ollie. He's waiting for it. Maybe he can make that call to Erica. Because I want to make a complaint today. What on my information, what I happened today. So once again, I come here. Do I go do that to... With, Ivy, you can make a complaint to Ivy's office, and, uh, and she will file it. Now, uh, you hear in the Ollie state that he has requested Ivy to produce all of the I'm going to make another one today. Yeah. Uh -huh. I'm going to give oh, it. i got to back up. You know, <laughs> strategic planning. Uh, That's what it's called. Yeah. Hey, little man, at least he's going to calm down a little bit. Yeah, because every time I come about this issue, they send the police at me. Yeah. From the time I was pregnant, so he tired of the police, the popo making me mom. I have an open door policy, so I don't mind you coming in. And well, I don't know why they sent Van Diver. Yeah. Van Diver ain't your boss. I just walked in the office and, and I kept telling him to and, come uh, holler at me. They told me he said come here. As I walk in, don't mm -hmm. go me down to deal with the problem. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. Excuse me, ladies. Mm -hmm. Let me go make another complaint. Okay, girl. See you later. Uh huh. Thank you, Attorney Nunn. Okay. One more stop before I go. Hello. Hi. I would like to make a formal complaint. Hey, Ivy, how are you? Uh, what are you doing, you? Making a formal complaint. Okay, you're going to do that on just a regular sheet of paper? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, make it okay. Do you pencil or pencil? Oh, pen. You don't write a complaint in pencil, ma'am. Come on now. My head is not here. Yeah. I apologize. <sighs> I thought y'all had a form of a piece of a, a, a form. Oh, we do. Okay. I'm give you some background. Oh, okay. We don't have a form, form, or uh, those type of complaints. Oh, okay. So there's no actual yeah, process. That's a police complaint. That's a police. Is it a police complaint? No, it's the yeah. Saprina. Yeah. This one's in, in, in administration complaint. Oh, so there's no process really to make a formal complaint other than write it on a blank piece of copy paper. paper and I'll make okay. Sure that it gets to the mayor's office. Eight, nine,
I'm accepting government operations. Yeah. Now, I'm not accepting do, government operations. Is what, um, what you can do is you want somebody to come with your baby, you can go ahead and call them now or you want to transport the baby. You can, can I call my attorney? Sure. I have a right to call my attorney. Mm -hmm. Okay. Can I see your phone, um, Miss Ivy? Yeah, can you look up the Maxwell Law Firm for me, please? Maxwell? Maxwell Law Firm. Here in Selma? Uh-uh. Out of Montgomery, Birmingham. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, let me make another one. It's 256. Let me see if I got it in my phone. Okay. Yes, yeah, it's a 205. I'm not sure the street. I spoke with them on yesterday concerning this issue. Okay. Can I dial it on your phone? Because I'm recording this incident for legal purposes. Uh, probably be better to use your cell phone if you're planning on recording it. Well, I'm recording this incident now where the cops are telling me I'm under arrest for obstruction of justice and they're allowing me to call my attorney. Do I need to dial something You now? need to dial nine and the number. Mm -hmm. He's not doing anything. Pardon? It gives us a minute Hi, Heather. This is Kamisha Alvarado. I spoke with um, one attorney, Maxwell's staff, yesterday concerning the issue of harassment in the city of Selma. I, I have it in my phone, but because I'm recording them, because they're trying to arrest me now for coming to find out some information on some complaints I filed, and they're saying I'm being arrested on as I'm making complaints on police harassing me. They're saying I'm being arrested for obstruction of justice. But what am I being arrested for again? I'm sorry. Obstructing government operations. Obstructing government operations. I came to ask about uh, some information that I needed on a case that I was fraudulently arrested on. That I called you guys about in the, early on this year, Alvarado. A L V A R A D O. Um, to speak to the attorney and ask them if there's some other recourse because I came to get some information on my case. They refused me service. The secretary walked away from me as I asked for customer service to speak to the mayor, make an appointment. Nobody wanted to give me an appointment. I asked the police, why were they here? Were they here to arrest me? They told me no. I go speak to attorney none to deal with the issue on why I'm here in the first place from four years of harassment. And I come out to make a complaint on my experience here today. And I have a police officer telling me they're going to take, I have my nine-month-old son here with me. And they're saying I'm obstructing government operations because I came to find out information that the state of Alabama requested. Okay, thank you. Get down, Booba. Get down. Get down. Get down,
Can I see your supervisor? Can I see your supervisor? Because I asked you that earlier when you first came. Thank you. Appreciate it. Because that's what my first request when you first came into my space about the issue. I asked to speak to your supervisor and you did not allow me that privilege. Here's another one. Can I get a police report one complaint this time, Ms. Harrison? that you had at first, uh, Rachel? Okay, thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Now this is an opal. Notice that that's the way that, uh, the old. so just cross through. Hi, Attorney Maxwell. This is Kamisha Alvarado. I've been in communications with your law firm concerning this issue that I'm being harassed by the Selma Police Department and the municipal government, as well as city administration. I came in today, I've been talking to your secretaries, building my case, and I came in today because yesterday I called again because I knew it was going to be an issue with the job I was looking for based on the information that was sold from the state. And this issue has been going on since 2012. I came in today with a state letter asking to speak to someone that can help me in a department head fashion because I've talked to everyone else in the city concerning these issues. I've written complaints up to Judge Attorney Prince Chestnut, um, representative now. I've written complaints to prior administration George Evans. I came to talk to uh, Melton today and they called the police on me. All I asked was an, to make an appointment. They finally gave me an appointment after calling the police. After I'm asking what the police called for me, I was told the police were not called for me. They instructed me that I can go talk to Attorney Nunn, because Attorney Nunn was going to help me with my issue, and now I'm being arrested. What, what, what am I being arrested for? Obstruction of city government? Some for asking to get the information. I don't know. I sat in the mayor's office. I videotaped it. I was not loud. I was not violent. They sent the police. And after the police came, I was wondering, were they here to arrest me? And I kept asking, were they here for me? And they refused to answer me. I asked Officer Fulford to speak to his supervising officer. He told me no, that you can come out here and speak to the officer. And I said, that's not where the offense occurred. Why would I come out to speak to the officer? That's not right. I'm trying to speak with the mayor and make a complaint with the mayor. They said they had to go through Ivy Harrison, the complaints that I've written since 2000. I've written so many complaints. I have a file only, with, and I have my nine-month-old baby here today. So, they're telling me, get somebody. Justification and answer for anything. I'm in City Hall. No, I've never been trespassing City Hall ever. But he said he should not be arresting me. Okay, but he's off of the forfeits right here. He said, oh, well. Can I get a speakerphone? Do you hit the speakerphone, well, Ivy? I'm not going to speak to him now. The supervisor. He, he talked to us. Captain Peach, he, he'd be waiting on the police department. Oh, it, now they said the supervisor has to wait for me at the police department. <laughs> the 
but they're not going to speak to me. They don't care about my rights, basically. And I can see a police chief when I get arrested. I can see a supervisor once I get arrested. I've been recording. My phone is dying now. And I'm, I asked him several times. I, my phone is dead. I don't even have a way to call somebody to get my baby. Yeah. I don't have to go test that photo. I've never, I've never. Okay, so if I don't have a trespass order, I've never been issued a trespass order from the city, I should, I, I have a right to assemble here and ask questions. Am I correct? Oh. I haven't, none of that. I'm walking around with a stroller and a crying baby, a nine-month-old baby. Thank you. Okay, so um, let me write your number down. Can you give me your number again so I can have it, so I can call? You'll be my first call. Mm-hmm. 216. Okay, thank you so much. And I'm going to call my son and have my son come pick up my son from City Hall. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I need you to come to Selma because they're arresting me in City Hall. I need you to come get your brother. Okay. Uh, but, um, Tamika, what's your phone number so he can call you? Because he's in um, Troy. Okay. He's, he's come to Troy. Uh, all the way from Troy. He's going to come from Troy. 334. 334-327-9700. 9-7-0-0. Three two seven nine seven zero zero nine seven zero zero. Okay. I came to City Hall about that job information I needed, and they didn't want to see me. The girl said some yakety yet, and so I told them I wanted to see the mayor or the attorney or the department head, and they called the police on me. So my attorney said they didn't have any right to arrest me, so to go to jail and call them when I get there. All right. Thank you. Uh, all right, thank you. I'm going to write some points before I leave. Is that okay? Thank you. Oh, my name is Kamisha. Eight six three six. Eight six three six. Yes. What time is it? It's about three o'clock. Okay, so it's probably about two, two three p.m. Eight. Today's the ninth. Yep. Seventeen eight nine seventeen. Officer Fulford. Is the other officer that was with you? Come on, Ms. Oliver. You, you finish that later. Oh, okay. Uh huh. Right. Ask to speak. Can I finish writing this? Because this no. was what I came here for before y'all arrested me. Let me at least get my business straight before I go to jail. Because I did ask to speak to a supervising officer and you did not allow me that benefit. I did? Mm mm. You called Van Diver.
Ivy. Do I need to get copies, please? Can I get these copies and I'll be willing? I, 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 I get them for you. Lock me up. Oh, let me get my, can I get my stuff? Thank you for coming to my dog the other day. Even though you arrested me and violated my rights on the phone. No, turn your hand in like this. Hold on, let me get him so they won't tighten up. I'm going to get him to tighten up. Ms. Thomas, can you please get a picture of this and check it to my cousin? So I can have it corrected to the under arrest. Okay, come on, come on, come on. We're we ready. Ms. Alvarado. Can I get my baby kiss? No, ma'am. No, ma'am. Let's go. Let's, 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 let's go, Ms. Alvarado. I can't get you. We've been in here long enough. Let's, let's go. Call my friend again. Come to your name. What is your name? Leroy Maxwell's attorney. Tamika got my baby coming in. I got walk in my car. Which one is your car? Number four. Oh, number four. You know God is the only time back. You know the God that we started with so amazing. That everything happens in the week. Huh? No problem. Thank you so much. It's so good to thank you, Jesus, for this day. You wake up and the Lord speaks to you and says, let's see if you can get some answers from the mayor. And they send the police to come get you because you want to speak to the mayor. I hope I get out so I can attend this mass meeting tonight. The Lord is my shepherd and I shall not want. I fear no man, but Christ. And I don't fear Christ, because Christ said, fear God. So I don't fear nobody but God. Mario Nelson's not God. Ollie is definitely not God. And this is not God-like. So thank y'all. Squad at me again. They 
Yeah, where I'm supposed to step out, because, you know, Trump said for y'all to make step, us step, step out of the vehicle and get out of the vehicle, anywhere you want to step. What's the procedure that I'm supposed to get out? Anywhere you want to get out. Ain't there a process? Well. It's up to you. Okay. It's kind of tight. Out, Look at it. It's kind of tight, like, up in here. Okay. Like, how y'all get that to happen like that? Why y'all don't give these folks more space back here? I can see why these folks get frustrated. Okay. I mean, you ain't going to make me go faster, though. Okay, come on. No, come on. Come on this way. Come on this way. Okay, because y'all ain't gonna make me walk no faster now. Y'all gonna drag me? Is that what y'all gonna do? Fight me? The last time they fight me, stop grabbing me. Because they let me go. I got eight assault charges. I thought I was found not guilty. Okay. Yeah, because I have a right to reduce the law for the rest. You still go to the elevator first. Wherever you want me to go, sir. Because I'm in compliance, like I was at the city. What you do when you actually speak to the mayor? They lock you up. They lock you up when you actually speak to the mayor. I had my nine month old baby. Did they get me on film with my nine month old baby? That city hall officer filled for me. Let me speak to a supervising officer. They called the phone phone because I wanted some answers. You come on up and step to your left. I'm going to let this happen. Step on in, step on in. Yeah, let me take the clothes off for I'm staying where you at. You ain't gonna send me off to no room by myself. You went that way. Oh. You ain't gonna tell me where you be. You ain't tell me to go to heaven. I ain't gonna go there. Where we going? No, you have a seat right here. Oh. Let's this right here. No, right here. Oh, I can't sit in that chair. Oh, you got me on record? I want to be recording now. Oh, you, it's on. No, good. Oh, I want to be recorded. This is what they do to African American mothers. Yeah. They harass you in the hey, police department. In the, um, they harass you all over the place. And I want to see Officer Gant. I need a female officer, please. I feel like my life is in jeopardy. Can I please get an officer here, a female officer? Please. There's no females in this room at this time. I'm surrounded by male officers who have had complaints on in the past. How you Officer say your first Filker. name, Ms. Uh, I plead the fifth until I have some female officers around me, please. Can I get a female officer to please come into the room, please? That's my right to request. I asked for a supervisor. I couldn't get it. Can I get a female officer, please? I'm requesting Officer Gant, if she's in the building, please. I really don't have any trust. I'm scared of my life around the police department. I've been threatened. I've been arrested and harassed. I do not want to talk to any police officers. I have current complaints on, and it looks like most of y'all I have complaints on. Even you, Mr. Gavan, with the nice man that came to get my dog the other day. 
but I got a complaint on you too when you came to my house and arrested me on this false charge on which I came to check on today at the city hall to see if my complaints were ever even required, answered, delivered, or anything. I have a right to assemble at city hall and ask for information. As a tax-paying citizen property owner, I have that right. Now you guys are violating my rights and have been violating my rights since I purchased that property. But the last cop that tried to arrest me for violating my rights, I, I really had to pray and I'm, I'm not that person anymore. So you guys can't pull that out of me. I don't like people touching, you know, me and my husband was fighting. And he was beating me up because he didn't like it. I told him he got to come in on the time and stuff and get the baby, right? And he mushed me in the closet. And when he mushed me in the closet, I fell back. I said, wow. And when I came out of the closet, he was tussing. I called 911, help, distressed mother. I need help. 911 came. Police officer came. And used police on use of force on a new mother. And I kind of like flipped. I was in the Navy at the time. My whole chain of command came and spoke to me and how great of a sailor I was. And how I was a stellar seller. They dropped all those charges. And we were going to sue them too. Hey, can you give me a 65 and my 10 15 Hi. How you doing? Are you Here we go again. All right. I just seen you said it. You know, so are you in, don't you? I, I, I complained to y'all so many times. I, 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 I seen you say that at the, at the, at the, and I love our book. I came, mm -hmm. yeah. Did, did you get one? I did. Okay, good, good. How are you doing today? Not well. Still back at the same reason the chief pushed me off on you. you so they arrest me today. Really? So what happened over there? I mean, this is my first time here. And I'm just I go to City baby. Hall with my baby. Where your I baby at? For, Where your baby, baby? baby I had to leave him at City Hall. With who? Who got a baby? Miss Sykes. You know her? Okay. Okay, okay. Anyway, I applied for the position at Head Start. I don't know if we can go back when the little girl lied and said I tried to beat her up and I gave you a DVD and you took uh -huh. it to the yeah. uh -huh. Never got any, anything back on my complaint. When we went to court, mm -hmm. they said, oh, remember the, the domestic, remember the police reports for all the, the domestic violence on my end. Okay. But on their end, it was harassment. Okay. You told me to go talk to sheriff, the sheriff and yeah. find out if they can change the status. Okay. Sheriff Grantham said, oh, Ms. Alvarado, you're right. Yeah, come on, that's menacing. Him pulling out an AK-47 on you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Come back. She refuses to speak to me. Mm -hmm. Calls the mayor office. Okay. And that's from March 31st, approximately. I think it was right after I had my surgery. I got out of the surgery April okay. 3rd. So I gave it maybe April 15th. Okay. I think I saw you around that time. Okay. No, nothing. So I applied for the job with Head Start. FBI background, you're dealing with children. That's right. That was my complaint. Mm -hmm. That the magistrate should have had a probable cause hearing mm -hmm. when she had that arrest on me. And she would have went through a history of all the complaints that I have made specifically on that address. She wouldn't have issued a warrant out for my arrest, I right. know by law. And that was in my complaint. I have never gotten a resolution. So See. now I need a certified letter to go to the state. Mm -hmm. to clear me for my job that's waiting for me. Right. But you know, when you had talked with me, and I said, Chief, it's not over the magistrate. I know. So therefore, right. you know, I had to direct you. But I made complaints about it. For the I magistrate, the Chief, you know, that would be Alicia Brown over it. I did it. But Judge Chestnut, he he's, said, Chestnut. he's, he's just just the judge. He's the one supposed to be over the whole magistrate. And that's what so, I want to say. all the day. on Chief Park, now, he really can't, all the thing, he, the police all the thing the police he can tell, thing he can tell you, he can change those us. police reports from, yeah, that yeah, he's never been on. Yeah, we can do that. Well, no yeah. one, 
That's why I came here originally. So because that's the domestic issue, right? violence. They kept putting in domestic violence, but it wasn't. It was harassing. Right. They were harassing me over my property. Well, she's I'm the victim of the suspect. I'm, I'm the, they made me the suspect. Yeah. But it, I was really the victim. They made you suspect of domestic violence? That's what they put on here. See, the young lady that she had a problem with, it was her neighbor. Daughter. Yeah, that's not the end of your That's the end of your They've been harassing me for years. But what we do with that. So why am I arrested today? Why am I arrested today? I don't even know. They said I was the attorney Maxwell said they can't arrest me from coming to City Hall. I was never trespassed from City Hall. Who's Maxwell? Leroy Maxwell. Okay. Cause I was because I, I can't get no resolution. I've been trying to sue the city. So I've been dealing with him. His sons and all that. And I called. Mm -hmm. Hey, I called yesterday. Mm -hmm. Now here it is. I said, here's the, this arrest that was false. Because if you looked at the video, it was evident that they should just drop the case. Mm -hmm. I asked attorney Ed Green. I asked. Uh, they gave me an appointed attorney. You know what he told me? He said, mm -hmm. the city ain't paying him yet, so he ain't working on my case no more. They can't do that. So I'm here because I went to city this hall. Is, let me just go back in the video. Yeah. When you, when I talked with you at headquarters, I brought you upstairs to talk. She called the police on me that day. See, I was not aware. She called the police on me that day because when I asked you, I said, "Well, let me tell people." I told, I asked you. I told, I asked you to stay with me. I did stay with you, and as soon as they handed me off, you're right. They handed me off. I told you, let me walk you upstairs because of that very reason. And when I came upstairs, you said, Don't leave me. Ed Green was going to talk with you. And I said, Mr. Sunshine, you're going to be all right. I thought so. You said, yeah, I'm okay trying to get, because I'm talking to Ed. And I know Ed. And by the time, like I just told Captain King, by the time I went from Howland, brought to Howland, I knew, they put your name in the order thing. And I... I'm like, so I can't make a complaint nowhere I go. That's, that's the reason why I wanted to stay. But I'm arrested for the same thing. So I can't make I a complaint. Know, what you did over Obstruction of city process. I, 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 I can't get the appointment. No one won't answer the phone. Attorney Nunn said that. Attorney Nunn said in the video. I got it on video. I posted it on Facebook because I knew they were going to arrest me at that point when they kept when they wouldn't leave. Right. And I asked Officer Fulfill, are you coming here because of me? Because I'm asking to see when I came in the office, I saw yeah, Sabrina. Yeah, yeah. I saw yeah, yeah. When I come to me, they lied to me. Uh -huh. He lied to me. I asked him specifically. He was supposed to tell me the truth if they called about me. They lied. I said, I walked to the office. The lady said, that's the mayor's office. I was praying in that hallway. Mm -hmm. I said, man, I'm just saying a prayer before I walk in here. Mm -hmm. I said, Sabrina, she's sitting up with no stockings on. Heels up in the air on her phone. I was sitting across the desk. I walk in there. She, first she comes out. She says, oh, I can't help you. I said, I want to come and ask about my complaints. Can I get some customer service on my complaints? Mm -hmm. I've been calling you and you've been hanging up for months since I met you. That's I got to you. Mm -hmm. She said, I can't help you. And walked off. So I knew she was back there with somebody. I cut the camera on. Somebody, Ollie. Can you help me? No, 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 no. Wait, get out of here. Get out of here. You can't talk to no, no. Call the department head. No. I've been to every department head in the city of Selma for the past four years of this property. When mm -hmm. Brett, when you arrested Brett, mm -hmm. Brett are these people's landlord. So how can I have a lifetime warrant against Brett and he can come up in court and be the head witness for somebody saying I harassed their child? And that's their landlord. So yeah, I'm just being I harassed. Don't, I don't understand that because you had the video. And Look on Facebook. Ain't you my Facebook friend? Look at the video on what I did today. Oh, okay. I it's on Facebook. I, I didn't. I had my well, baby what with gonna, me. What I'm gonna do my today. baby was crying. They should have arrested him because he obstructed work because he was crying. So, but they should have arrested me. I can't stop my baby from crying because you just sent the police and everybody in the office to pull up on his mother because right. she's asking for resolution on a complaint because it's now hindering. Like I said, it would mm -hmm. my professional. Livelihood. Right, right. Well, with your, um, you said you got all your hour reports, right? I got all of them. I haven't thrown okay. them away. Come back up here in my office tomorrow. What, what am I here for? Am I arrested or am I going home? Because I, I don't well, know what I did. First, they told me I wasn't arrested, and then when I came out, I turned in office. They told me that they, as they came to make sure I got to speak to someone. Mm -hmm. I went to go make a complaint again on my experience. 
for the day. Okay. Then they, I know Ooh, I was arrested. Who returned that, that complaint? I did get it. So she should okay. have no better I'll go over there and get that. We'll read it. You come see me, come to my office tomorrow, anytime. So what if, uh, can I go get my babies? Um, what am I arrested? What am I arrested for? I you, the lawyer told me I can't be arrested for violating something that I haven't been trespassed from. The city hall is a, a city business. It's a business. It's a business where I'm a taxpayer of a property owner. I understand that you're being detained for obstructing government operations. I didn't obstruct anything. No, I came but, to ask but you know question. You, be, you know you have to be proven in. No, you have to prove it. But, 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 but how can I obstruct when I go yeah, ask guess, a question? I guess Brenda's going to come over here and sign on. I guess Brenda's going to come over and sign on. How she signed the warrant on me because she's a secretary? Well, you and her mother had some that running over there today. I did not. No. Some type of disagreement over there. When she refused me service. She can't refuse to be my service, and I don't have to leave the office when she tell me no. I can't help you. How you cannot help me when this is my end result? If I've been everywhere in the city, Every office. Hey man, what, what customer service you acting to get from her? None. No, no, what you say you acting What do you want here? To see if I can figure out what's going on with my complaints. I thought you gave to me Ivan Harrison. They, they already said they're never going to receive them. Man, this Harrison is, said this, they never received them. Miss Ivy Ben says she repeated them. This what I'm saying. Miss Ivy got them. They just investigating it today when they called police on me. So I've never gotten no well, resolution. You have complaints with the city. I mean, I have a right police to police officers. Oh, okay. She was doing the complaints against the magistrate, right? That I sent the prints and uh -huh. I never got a resolution. Yeah, so, 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 so she wanted to follow you know, up on. She had to do I'm following up on everything. I'm following up on it. No, I don't. No, oh, you're you're not, no, you're not listening I'm once listening. again. No, you're not. No, you're not. No, you're not. No, you're not. I'm tired of y'all. You're not listening. So what she's trying to do is the complaints. She, today was the, the day that she was trying to uh, find out about the complaints that she had about trying to, all the reports that she had filed with the domestic violence. Okay, the job she had, quite now she got a background check and it came up that she been arrested with domestic violence, et cetera. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. So now, for order for her to keep this job, she had to come back and get a letter from the, the court. From from our courts, they Same. said that yeah, this is not domestic violence cases. This is harassment cases. And, and, so, not the, yeah. and so, therefore, she needs a letter from yeah. our court. So what she uh, did, she, she tried said to, no. Miss Brown, no, I'm just saying oh, okay. what you trying to do. She said no. So now she That's follow right. up with the with all the complaints. All their, the complaints that. You know, the judge and the gotcha. I mean, I, I, got, I got a stack of complaints like this mm -hmm. since 2012. Not that no matter who I office I went to ask about, it comes to this. Because it seems like to me, the officer where you get the complaint at, it should be the officer we be point of contact. No, no, she's just the receiving end. Miss, 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 I mean, she, 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 she pushed them on. Yeah, she. So but she, I, no, you're right. She pushed them on to the to, so, to the appropriate. I've been boss. trying. Yeah. Yeah. For the last year, since we ran into a downstairs. I remember that. And I would write complaints against you. I remember that. Okay. So since that day, when he had to go back and get that same police report, that officer, Hat, what's his name, that I told him to try to shoot my dog? Come on, Bob. Kendall Thomas. When Officer Thomas told Miss Jackson never not to answer no more 911 calls for me, this was April 20, May, no, April 1st. We got to answer now. That's what's, that's, this is where it's stemming from now. All my complaints. He's put, don't answer. The little girl said on the video, I don't know why they came back because they told her she couldn't even call 911. So I've been complaining since then. I was pregnant then. I don't have the baby and everything. I'm still dealing with this. So I can't go. So once I make a thousand complaints to a city that I pay taxes to, you're telling me I can't walk up to the secretary's desk and ask for some resolution and who do I need to speak to? I can't help you. That's what I get. I can't help you. And if she kicks her foot back on the desk and look at me like this. So I told her I'm going to sit here and wait till I get some help. Because that's not the answer I expect to receive from someone who I pay taxes to. And I have a right to ask that question. I have a right to ask for information on my complaints if they've been that long. So why am I being arrested again for that? Because she's a city employee. So it can't be personal because I'm asking... Right, because now I feel like I'm being harassed by her for not doing her job. 
she can't call people, the police on people, because she's refusing them service. That's a miscarriage of justice and, once again, a disenfranchisement of my rights. Well, I need you to come to my office tomorrow, bring all those, those our reports, and I'll read all those our reports and see if they have domestic violence, I can do a, a supplement report on it to make it to harassment instead of domestic violence, so that would help you on our end, but on the magistrate end, the chief of police don't have Does anything. No, I know that. That's why they come over here. And so I didn't, for direct, I didn't want to direct complaint, when, when you was making the complaint, he didn't want to tell me to talk to you, because when people come up here and complain about me doing turn the fair, they go directly, they go to his office, and then it bring it right down to me, and what me did. Well, I'm feeling that. So, Kevin Kendall Thomas' actions in March of 2016 has caused me a grave injustice when he said to me that I could not call 911. The next day, these folks went and signed a warrant and said I tried to attack their child on my property. My property. So I'm trying to figure out why I'm arrested today. Because I have a right to go to the secretary's office where that's the only place you can go. I, like the chief said, which King just said, I couldn't come here. So where would I go? I said, I want to speak to the attorney and the mayor because a little bit better help me. Based on the information that the document told me, I'm going by the document. This is a state letter. So I can have a state letter, I'm coming to the office, and y'all refuse me service and arrest me for the service? Because I'm videotaping it? I have a right. You got your proof, though. You know, video don't lie at all. But um, Kevin King trying to see what is the charge. They told me the structure. For, for, for order for him to make that arrest, she would have to sign the warrant. But she can't sign the warrant for me coming up to talk to the mayor. I didn't ask to speak to her. She, if the magistrate give her. It's the only place, even, they, if, even today. If they give her <laughs> that warrant, do what you need to do. I already, I told Attorney Leroy Maxwell before I left the police department. I mean, before I left City Hall in Ivy office, and he kept saying they can't arrest you for that unless you have been trespassed. I've never been trespassed from the city. Okay. So that was the, that was the charge. How, how, how much that wow. I, I want to say either fifteen hundred or thousand. How can I have trouble government justice by me going yeah. to ask a question? Let me show you the element of that. We got a right to protest. We have a right to protest in the city hall. What are you talking about? Can I get a copy of that so I can give it to my attorney and make sure I know oh, what you know. No, I want to see it for myself. Okay. I want to, can I get a copy of the charge so I know for myself because I'm a fake attorney. And every time I go to that court that I wrote to judge, they keep threatening no. and locking me up for false attorney. I'm going to make it simple for you. When you look at that, look at that code. Go on the internet. Put that I just asked you the number. I, I don't yeah. have a phone. I don't have to write it down with. My phone's dead because I can communicate y'all. It's important y'all the whole thing. It ain't no problem. Okay, I just want to get that. I just That's all I need to copy. I understand. I trust your judgment. 1318-2. You know what it is. I didn't do any of that. What I'm saying, I'm not saying you did. You acting right. right. I'm just. Listen. I can have a right to tell you what I did. Now I'm just saying I didn't do any of that. Yeah. My yeah. baby probably did when we were crying. But that ain't me. I just told him, he told me I wasn't under arrest. I asked him, Am I, are y'all free to leave? They said, yeah, we well, ain't under arrest. So I just talked to Sabrina. At that point, me and Sabrina weren't even engaged. So did how did it come to that? Did you know her? You didn't know her prior to city. I don't know her prior. I don't know her other than me calling as a citizen. Okay. And she hangs up on my face and tells me, you're not speaking to the mayor today. She cannot do that. And I put that on Facebook. And that's not obstruction. That's not obstruction to harassment because she's a city official. She's sitting in a city capacity where I can't get service. And I'm letting the people know of Selma, this is what you get when you call City Hall. Click, click them. Click, 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 click them. Hang up again. You can't call here no more. Um, I'm right this down. This this call right here, just go on the internet. And uh, once your phone get up, just go on the internet. It's on the, uh, 
Alabama Constitution. And just put that code. You can just. I ain't no money. I pay my bills for that. You you can just put that on your phone, and then it click up on it, and you'll have. All and why can't I get out on my own recognizance? They let me out my own recognizance last time. They did what? Let me out on my own recognizance. We'll see. I'm requesting that today. I want to be better on my own recognizance, on my own name and word. I'm not a threat or a risk. I've never had to call no bond people, and I'm not going to start today. Let me get your keys because I don't know why they didn't get your keys because you got a knife up there, okay? Mm-hmm. You got something in here. I'm going to just put it, I'm going to just set it right there in that, that one up to see you, okay? Mm-hmm. I'll be right back. Mm-hmm. This means all, Abraham, Abraham, all of them, all of them. Yeah, uh, like on this right here. So I'm gonna put that right here. Do y'all have a, can I have a, please note or something?